students welcome back let's continue with our basic illumination models the first illumination model that is an important component that is the ambient light so what is this ambient light actually the light that enters a room and bounces multiple times around the room before lightening a particular object that you call it as an ambient light did you get it let me explain at simple words ambient light is the the equal amount equal amount of light from all directions all directions that you call it as an ambient light so did you, uh, here i am recording the video okay i am just play, uh, in the camera i am just recording the video so here i am getting the equal amount of light from all directions from all directions i am getting an equal amount of a light so then you are able to see the picture that it's simply nothing but we call it as a background light its ambient light is the background light okay so the light that enters a room and bounces multiple times around the room before lightening a particular object i am not talking about a particular I surface okay I'm just talking about the complete uh, environment suppose if you take this is a room okay in this room so many objects are there so many objects are there we are placed so many objects in the room so here the light that enters the room the light that enters the room room and bounces multiple times so just it is placed on that any one of the object or any of the wall so it's just uh, bounces and multiple times around the room okay means whenever the light is entering onto the room it completes all uh, surfaces reaching the same amount of the line that is a equal amount of light from all directions so before lightening a particular object i am not talking about the particular object before lightening the particular object okay so that you call it as an ambient light let me take suppose uh, a simple example you are in a room okay you are in a uh, room so whenever uh, if you switch off all the lights in the room whenever you open a curtain in the night time you just open the curtain of your window and just switch off all the lights so from the outside uh you are getting some light into your room even though you switch off all the lights a light is coming to your room this is just uh, a moonlight is entering into your room through the window so that is a background means you are able to see all the uh, surfaces means all the objects in your room in a uh, some a basic view you are able to see that is a background color that you call it as an ambient light that moonlight is entering into your room that is the equal amount of light is entering into your room from all the directions okay means here we are taking just a window the equal amount of light is entering into the room and you are able to see the objects that are present in your room that type of light you call it as ambient light i hope you understand what exactly the ambient light was so just a light that entering into the a particular not we are talking about the particular surface just the equal amount of light from all directions you call it as an ambient light the ambient light contributes depends on the light ambient color and the ambient material color also okay so after that the next step the next step is suppose if it is placed on an object so if it, the light is uh, placed on any object so that ambient line contribution depends on the light ambient color what type of the color that is appearing if if it is a sunny means a dark color if it is a moon moonlight means somewhat light color and the ambient material color is also the amount of ambient light instant let me write the point the amount of ambient light incident on each object on each object is a constant so here whatever uh, let let me take uh, here a window is there whatever example i said window is there a light is entering into the window 
so just remove this thing elytra is entering into the uh, through window okay so here a uh, different objects are present in the room so the amount of ambient light incident on each object so whatever the object that is present in the room here the ambient light is uh, that is observing by the each object is constant is constant for all the surfaces for all surfaces and over all directions so whatever the direction you are taking so whatever the surface you are taking so here the amount of the incident ambient light of each object is a constant so it is receiving the constant intensity light it is receiving constant int intensity light and it is also receiving constant in intensity light because every object every surface is receiving the in intensity of the light that is the ambient light is constant ambient light incident on each object is constant so let me take a simple example so here i just taken a uh, in a room there are so many objects let's take a particular object so how the amount of uh, incident light reflection so let's take this is a bulb here okay this is a bulb and here i placed one of the surface okay and here one another surface is there and here i'm watching I, i'm watching here so now the light is reflected on this means uh, placed or incident on the surface so here it's placed on the surface the equal amount of uh, light is placed on the surfaces and here whenever the light is placed in this object it is going to be reflected and this is also reflected so here this person is seeing this surface whenever he is seeing the surface lightning effect this surface is observing the light directly from the light and from the reflected light and that combination is seeing by the person so here the amount of incident light how i am going to calculate the amount of the incident light reflected by a surface it depends upon the type of material first thing is what type of material i am using what type of material i am using means whether i am using the transparent material whether i am using the shiny material what type of material i am using if the shiny material means it reflects more of the incident light and if you use a dull uh, dull surfaces means it observes the incident light okay it's not only that it uh, the amount of incident light is reflected by the surface is depends upon the type of the material also okay so that you have to be calculated now let me explain you the modeling of the ambient light how you are going to model the uh, ambient light modeling ambient light okay so we can use ambient intensity parameter ia ia is the we are using one ambient amb, ambient intensity parameter parameter ia that what is the use of this parameter which describes the level of ambient light in a scene so whatever the scene we are taking means if we are talking about the room okay so in this scene uh, the ambient incident parameter we are taking it as ii which describes the level of the ambient light and here the every object in the scene let's take so many objects that are present in the room okay so every object in the scene will be illuminated by this amount independent of the surface orientation and the viewer location so it's just independent of independent of surface location independent of the surface orientation and viewer location also we don't bother where, where the viewer was means from where the person is observing we don't bother about the surface orientation what type of so surface orientation it is there it's just the ambient light is independent of surface orientation and the viewer location but the different surfaces may reflect different amount of ambient light so that you have to be remember that but 
the different surfaces these are the different surfaces the shapes of the surfaces are different the different surfaces may reflect different amount of different amount of ambient light so which is based on their absor uh, absorbance or reflected properties so it's completely based on the type of material that we are using so we can model this by constant factor of uh, each surface is i ambient light is equal to k a into i a so what is i a here i a is nothing but the ambient in intensity parameter so that is the ambient light in intensity whereas k is a percent of the percentage of the light reflected by the object so just remember this formula so this is a formula for the uh, calculating the constant factor of each surface so we can model the ambient light by using this formula i ambient is equal to k a into i a whereas k a is a percentage of the light reflected by the object so whatever the object we are taking based on the material type it going to be calculated and i a is the ambient light intensity thank you